Hey everybody, I don't know, usually there's a countdown when it starts, so hopefully it started recording. Um, Mr. Keenan, coming from you, coming to you live from the wood shop. I uh, want to talk about a couple things pertaining to the rest of third quarter. Um, so, a couple things have changed. Uh, if I've not mentioned it already in class, we are going to be holding on to the related arts uh, sixth grade and seventh grade for one more week after this week. So, so tomorrow is the first and it was supposed to be the end of third quarter because of the switch of the in-person learning four days a week. That's going to be happening on the 12th. We decided to, um, instead of switching next week for a short period of time and then coming full, uh, the week after, we decided to keep the related arts students for an extra week. Um, with that in mind, uh, I'm going to attempt to do something that will be helpful for the community. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of work on my part to make happen, but um, we decided this year to focus on community. And during the warm weather months, we did a lot of work in the outdoors, which we're going to get back to here shortly. Um, but we started to build these benches. The whole theme of this year for me as a teacher, as I adjusted the curriculum, is that we're focusing on the aspect of things. And the two elementary schools that we have have uh, ordered three benches apiece. So the Marengo Valley will be getting three and uh, the elementary school will be getting three. And then it leaves us with the need to create more benches for here at school. With it, This is gonna be somewhat of a difficult challenge in the next couple of weeks with the four days a week and the um, increased population at school. We wanna try to make it as, as safe of an environment as possible. One of the things that I can do to help out with that is create more of these picnic tables. And there's a few spaces, like the space out by the library out there, the uh, what, what I'm calling the open, or the Wisconsin, the native Wisconsin prairie, um, the picnic or the playground even, we're gonna try to get some more picnic tables out there. So for the in-person learners this next week, I'm gonna try to get each group to produce uh, one table per group. We're going to start, we'll actually start as early as tomorrow because some of the groups, specifically the Friday group, are complete. The Friday seventh grade group are completely finished. The sixth grade group is really close. The Thursday in person sixth grade group is a, very close to being finished. Um, and I want to try to make it so that each group will try to kick out or produce one more picnic table for the um the good of the cause for the community um so that we can social distance be outside and maybe not have to wear masks all the time it would be kind of a really cool thing for that that said i may not get to grading your stuff immediately right away because i want to focus on getting things prepped in person yesterday we i brought in another load of two by fours i brought 60 10 foot two by fours and i cut all 60 of them yesterday and there's still more to process um, right now we're set to have at least eight more picnic table sets I was hoping to get nine because that's how many in-person learning groups I have but with us doing virtual a week from tomorrow um, we might not necessarily have to worry about that about I might not be able to have the opportunity for every group to um, fully completed but we're going to try i'd like to try to have nine sets available so the next all any free time i have today i want to spend working on getting these sets prepared so that we can help the community out if your parents have questions about hey you still have stuff on skyward that needs to be graded if i have a grade set up in skyward it automatically marks it um, missing if i don't enter it so there's a possibility you may have finished and completed grades in google classroom but I just need to update the um, Skyward and I will try to get to that as soon as I can. Um, so I wanted to send this message out to everybody to let everybody know that message. The second thing is the for sixth graders and seventh graders, I need to pull up my Google Classroom. I thought I had it up, but I guess I closed out. So the sixth graders and seventh graders, I 
have created and brought back some of the choice board stuff from last year. So I took some of the assignments for the, the choice board and made it so that you guys could pick and choose what you wanted to do for your assignments. Um, there are right now a total of eight possible choices. Realistically, there are seven possible choices because I don't have the videos edited yet. I haven't had time to do that yet. Um, but this 3D design and modeling Big Bridge School Forest, I said that that counts for two. It came to my attention yesterday that uh, this link wasn't working for the seventh graders and sixth graders. So what I did was I just took this assignment and made it available to you in your classwork. It doesn't mean that that is a required assignment. I just put it up there for it to be available for you if you wanted to choose this one. This one is counting for two assignments because I go through and I show you how to do it, show you how to create it. And if you follow step by step, you should be able to get it finished. For those hybrid learners, the ones that are at home once a week and here, um, because I put the choice word out last week, I would like you to do two choices. And if you choose this one assignment, you'll be good for that. Um, for the at home full time learners, you'll need to do four choices. If you choose to do this one, you'll need to do two other ones. But you can repeat. There's another question I had yesterday is, can I do the same choice two weeks in a row? Absolutely, you can. You could do the same choice four times in a row if you wanted to. Let's say that you are you are somebody who likes to build things at home and you have projects that you work on at home all the time. This could count. You could do the wildcard project four times with four different projects at home. Um, so some of these you absolutely could do multiple repeating in a row as long as they are not the same project. Um, the career skills checkup. If you have multiple chores that you do at home for your parents and for the good of your family, your parents could evaluate you with the career skills checkup. Um, the scavenger hunt is kind of a one-off. You just you take that and you measure things around your house. Um, the mom and son, Rube Goldberg ping pong shot, that's where they set up pots and pans and they're trying to bounce a ping pong ball, bouncing it off of different pots and pans. You could do two or three different versions of that if you wanted to. Um, the Modern Marvels Tech Ed by TV. So if you watch anything on the Discovery Channel that's construction related, any Modern Marvels videos, you would just write three, inter three interesting facts pertaining to whatever episode you watched. And you would turn it in, in the, on the other document that's attached to here, the turn, in, the turn in board sheet. And so with this one, there are four choices, but you might not necessarily do all four choices. If you are hybrid, you only do two. Um, or if you choose the one that counts as double, you only do however many that counts for. Um, but you'll put your, you'll put your interesting facts, you'll put your print or your um, screenshots, you could put your pictures of your projects, you could put your videos, you could link them in here, or you could attach um, when you go to turn in the assignment, there's a place where you can attach files. You could do that too. But I just wanted to do this quick little video. It's not necessarily quick, but I wanted to do this video to kind of, I've been receiving a couple emails from a couple different folks and talking to students about their grades, um, just to kind of let you know what's going on in tech ed right now, um, why I might not be sitting my butt down at a computer and getting the grades knocked out. Essentially, if you, if you finish the work and complete the work, you're going to do just fine in tech ed. You either do it all and get an A, or you don't do it at all and you don't get an A. So that's basically how it kind of works sometimes for Mr. Keenan. So just get your work completed, get it turned in, and I promise I'll get to it before the grades are due, but I'm working on getting some in-person stuff done for the good of the community. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me directly. Um, I'm just kind of scanning the room to show you all of the different sets. Um, right now I have eight full sets for for the longest boards on there and I should have enough to make a ninth one. I just might need to run and go grab some longer lumber to complete the ninth set. But we'll see how that goes. I'll be working on that all day today. Um, but I'll put I'll put this up in each each room. Um eighth grade at home learners this week you guys will have another assignment put out that's got videos, helpful videos just like the ruler one had and you should be in good shape. Email me with questions. Shoot me questions in the comments. We should be in great shape. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the weather. Hopefully it's less windy.